Power Boat Television, North America's premier boating show. Some of the greatest advances in boating have been around electronics and digital technologies like digital throttle and shift. Now if you have an older boat you go, well that doesn't really affect me. But this week on my boat we're going to show you how you can take an old system like this and upgrade to the latest in digital throttle and shift technologies. The system we've picked for this retrofit is from Uflex and there's a couple of areas that we're looking at why we made this choice and first and foremost is from the owners or the users perspective. What we have here is an excellent stylish unit full of features with great performance. Now from the installers perspective what you have here is an easy to order kit where everything comes in one package that you need for the install. What you have to do after mounting everything obviously is connect the network cables from the control unit to the computer and on to each one of the servos across the whole setup and provide power from the engine battery sources and power from the power source to each one of the actuators and obviously power is carried across the network back to the computer and to the control unit. With the actuator and computer dip switches set, I started the installation by mounting the power unit on the forward bulkhead in the engine compartment followed by the four mechanical actuators. Next, the actuators were interconnected using the supplied device net CAN cables with secure watertight connectors. The last unit required a network terminator. Since I was working with the actuators, the next task was to secure the U-Flex control cables into the fixing system on the correct port and starboard shift and throttle actuators using the supplied plates, clamp, and screws. As each was completed, the cable terminal was also threaded into place. Power cables were then run from the power supply to each of the mechanical actuators. After connecting the two 12 volt power lines to the engine batteries, these were plugged into the power supply. Next step in this project is to actually connect the cables to the transmission and the throttle on each of the engines. Now normally you would just be swapping out for new cables. In this project, this particular boat has hydraulic shift and throttle on it. So what we have to do is pull out the existing slave cylinders, in this case at the transmission with a mechanical connection here. And we've had to go to our good friends at Stillnor in Midland and have fabricated a set of mounting brackets and an adapter that allows this system to be adapted to cables. With the hydraulics removed, the adapter was installed, the shift cable mounted and connected to the shift lever on the transmission and its throw fine-tuned. On the top of the engine, the throttle adapter was installed, the cable mounted and the throw adjusted as well. The same modifications were completed on the port engine. Up on the flybridge, the next task was to hook up the control unit. The first task was to connect the signal wires to the tachometers for synchronization and the power wires to the ignition switches. Next, both the pre-run network cable from the engine compartment was connected along with the cable for the control binnacle. Well, that takes care of installing the CPU, hooking up the wires to the tacks for the synchro and obviously the power to the ignition wires. The only thing left to do now is to install the binnacle and connect up the networking cable but we also have to remove the old hydraulic system first. Having prefabricated a mounting plate and drilled holes for the binnacle, all I had to do was connect the network cable and a terminator and secure the binnacle to the helm with the supplied studs. The final step in the install is simplicity itself. I disconnected the control unit and plugged it into an actuator down below. In turn, each of the throttles and shifts were selected for programming and the mechanical throw distances were set for throttle movement and shift positions. This is accomplished by toggling the control switch on the control unit and adjusting the cable mounts and cable ends. After reconnecting the control unit and securing it to the underside of the helm, the engines were fired up and the throttle and shifters tested. Final adjustments and programming were done during the sea trial of the system. Oh, that was a great C-trial. The U-Flex digital throttle and shift worked 
absolutely fantastic as promised. The programming component of this was straightforward and simple, so this was basically a straight up project other than some of that custom fabrication work. All in all, this is going to be a great addition to this C-Ray.